So, it's been a hot second, right? Where the heck you been, Rachel? So that's what we're here to talk about. Catch up. What's new with you? What's new with me? What's been happening? Uh, since I last posted a video in June, there are a lot of new subscribers. I think about 2,000 of you. So welcome. Much appreciated. Whether you're here for me, Rachel, or my nephew, Jordan, it's great either way. So, as the title says, we will talk about him, uh, we'll save him the best for last, of course, because he is at the end, right? Right around April time frame, my sister came across a property. She is a real estate agent in Virginia and Maryland, and it was in my price range and I never thought I would be able to purchase something in this area because if any of you are familiar with the DC area, the DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia, you would know it is quite expensive. So in April, we went and looked at this particular condo building. It's a new construction. And I was like, oh heck yeah, sign me up. So that's exactly what I did. There was a time there that I wasn't sure I would qualify because I do own some rental properties and I'm the only one with the income, aside from, of course, tenants. So that whole process has been quite a long time coming and as you might, might be able to tell if any of you have been following me for a minute. I am still living with my sister because the building is not quite complete yet. It's it's almost there. Uh, last month in August we were able to finally go and see some of the common areas so that was exciting. I am utilizing my VA loan benefits because I am in the military so for a new condo building, 70% of the units have to be sold in order for VA approval to come through. And 70% of the units have not been sold yet, so that's what we're waiting on, along with the construction. So if all works out with my situation, more to come on that. Uh, it might not be until January that I move in there, if I move in. So, yeah, we'll see. In my last video that I did with my sister, we talked about the channel that they were going to do that obviously has not happened. Will it ever happen? I don't know. I don't want to say no even though that's what I would lean more towards, um, but it could happen. Uh, Lexi is starting slowly a channel, so I'm the editor on both of those. It's just a matter of getting footage provided to me. I have given them, the Hammond family, uh, camera equipment, but you can only do so much, so the rest is on them. If they want to provide footage, I'm happy to edit it, but that's where that that channel is. That's the update on that channel. As far as Lexi's channel goes, I have created the channel. There is channel art with it. I have sent her a studio setup, which is really, really cute stuff, and she just needed some better camera equipment gear, so I've actually purchased some items for that, and I am waiting until I see her in person to give her that, because unlike the other camera equipment that I did give for the Hammond channel, this one, if 
the Lexi channel doesn't kick off, then I will be taking the camera equipment back because I, I can utilize the camera equipment for my own channel. So I have faith in this channel. I think it will be great. Lexi's got a super fun personality and she's excited about it. So it'll be really fun. And the name of her channel is Lexi Lulu. There is not any footage on it yet, but I do have at least one video uh, worth of footage that I can edit. I've just been busy with some work stuff going on, so we're going to get into that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am in the military, and more specifically, I'm in the Air National Guard. I've been in the Air National Guard for 17 years. And if any of you are familiar with the GAR, there are a lot of different statuses that you can be on. You can be full-time, you can be part-time. If you're full-time, there's a variety of full-time statuses that you can be on. So since I've been out here in the DC area, um, I've been full-time but actually on a temporary status. The office that I'm working in, I have worked in before, just uh, shy of four years. I'm doing some different things than I was before. I'm doing their SharePoint. I actually really like SharePoint. I love SharePoint. I've been doing SharePoint for six years. And I am at the headquarters for the Air National Guard. They sent me to some SharePoint training. Spent, I think it was approximately $3,000, which was really beneficial. I, I learned a lot and it was, it was awesome because you can only teach yourself so much off of YouTube Academy. I've been here since January and worked for the same supervisor that I did before and when I was here before I really really enjoyed my time and I only left NGB, the National Guard Bureau, to get into another career field that would provide me with a lot more opportunity and that is contracting. I left DC had an opportunity to get into it in Utah because I had worked in the office before on a temporary basis when they their full-time employee was deployed. I just worked in there for about six months but they really really liked me. Their employees retired. Um, they opened up the job to as a cross-training opportunity. I was able to apply and I beat out actual trained contracting professionals because of my already established work ethic and all of that. So I got there, um, worked really hard, was top graduate in tech school with 99.2% finished out tech school. Tech school is where you you get your training for your new career field that you are going to do in the Air Force. And as far as the Air Force and Air National Guard and Air Reserve goes, it's the same training, basic training, technical school across the board. It doesn't matter which, which one you're in. I was there for just about two years and the work environment was very unstable, poorly managed, and I decided that I needed to seek out other opportunities. And during this time, the office that I had worked in here had been calling and asking me to come back. And I was like, no, I, I busted my butt to get into contracting, I'm not gonna leave. And so, he just so happened to call during the time that I was like, you know, I need to get out of this work environment. So I was like, well, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, once this job ends, then I will 
be in DC where there will be other opportunities for me in contracting so it, it should be a good move. So fast forward, some things have transpired with the way that things have been handled in the office that I have brought to their attention. When I brought these things to their attention, I, I felt pretty uneasy about my job situation, like I had a target on my back, but was assured that I would still have a job, but the interaction towards me definitely changed. So fast forward a few months later. The Friday before last, I got my orders all approved through September 2019, and I was told this last Tuesday that I shouldn't be making plans because I would only be getting 90 days, maybe 120, because they were going to go a different direction. It was pretty disheartening because I definitely had been feeling like I had that target on my back still, even though I was assured that, you know, you don't have to worry about your job, you're fine. Um, but the interaction or lack thereof with me was definitely different. I had left that organization in 2015 with an MSM, a Meritorious Service Medal, and fives on all my EPRs, and obviously well liked enough that they had called me on and off over the two years that I was gone asking me to come back and work to nine months and I'm being told that yeah you got approval for another 365 days but you only get 90 so we just don't want you to make any plans you mean like uh, be under contract for a condo or quit my job and move across the country? Like those kind of plans? Looking back at everything, I would still do everything the same. I only did what was right. And considering the fact that I was never even given the opportunity to improve or give them a better product than what they are working with. Never even supported in doing so. I, it's very disappointing. What am I going to do? I am applying for jobs. And, uh, if none work out, then I guess it's good that I'm still living in 90 square feet. And all my stuff is packed up in a storage unit somewhere in Maryland. So I can just... 
I would probably move back west because, let's face it, the outdoors are better there. I, I love living here, just as far as day to day goes, but when it comes to the outdoors, the west is best. Yes, it is. It is. So, ideally, that's probably where I'd go. And my nieces and nephews over there, and I love them. They are the best. The outdoors and my nieces and nephews, they are my happiness. So, that's probably where I would go. Moving on. Okay, moving on to the reason you are all probably here, and that is Jordan. How you doing? nephew, my gorgeous nephew, uh, I want to answer your questions, your same questions that you guys ask over and over and over and over and over and over again, that I got so much on his collarbone video before I shut the comments off, not because of the ladies, but because of the crazy comments. I was getting cussed out by some 10 year olds, okay? Like, I was getting cussed out by some kids. Like, I don't care. I do not care if people like me. You don't like me? Don't care like yourself. That's one of the reasons I started this channel is just to like show, just do, do what you wanna do. Like, who really cares? Honestly, and if you don't know what a dry sense of humor is, this is not the channel for you, so uh, unsubscribe right now. There is a difference between being rude and sarcastic, which really takes no skill, honestly. It really doesn't. And being funny and sarcastic, so... I used to be like that and have learned the error in my ways. I think once in a while it does slip, but I, I try to avoid that because it's just, like I said, it just, it's really, it's really not funny to be rude at somebody else's expense. But I adore my nieces and nephews, adore, so kids, man, kids, they just come to YouTube, they watch two minutes of a video and they are blasting you, right? And then they were finding me on Instagram and sending me DMs and then following me. Like, you're no, no, you're not going to follow me and send me DMs. Like, like, no, that's not happening. Not happening. So I don't need that in my algorithm. I don't need that kind of language in my alg algorithm on my channel. And then also, kids were just being rude to other kids. Like, no, I do not tolerate. I do not tolerate that. Like, life is hard enough, okay? The real world is hard enough. People come to YouTube, social media, whatever it is to escape. To escape the crap that they might have to deal with in their daily lives that they've been dealt in their life, okay? They don't need to listen to your BS in the comment section. Not on my videos, okay? And just be a decent human being. How about that? Yeah. So, anyway. Alright, now um, back to Jordan. Alright, the number one question I think I probably was, I saw in the comments was how old is Jordan? Jordan is 15. 
He is 15 right now, and he is a sophomore. And he is playing football against my wishes. No. Okay. The kid, he can do whatever he wants. I mean, within reason, of course, and his parents. His parents, I can't boss that kid around unless he's being a jerk. Then I will. He plays football and he wrestles. And he is really good at wrestling. He works hard and it's crazy. He's like, he's turning into this, this man and it's just, it's weird. Does Jordan have social media? Jordan has social media, but it is not for fans. It is personal, for personal use. Some of you have found him and DM'd him and he was like, at first he's like, he thought it was like somebody from a school or something and they're like it was funny they're like are you the are you the one from the collarbone video <laughs> and he's like yeah <laughs> oh goodness girls man Whew, girls they'd be crazy so yeah i've asked him if he would start a social media for his fans and he has not said no but he has not really said yes and I have pushed him I have tried to nudge him that way the one thing with Instagram is he's not really like he's not like a selfie type of a person he never has been he's always gotten a ton of attention his whole life for how cute he is but it's just he's always been like what the what is your guys' deal? And right now he is in honors classes and he's doing some key club and some other club and you know his sports and so he's pretty he's a pretty tired kid to be honest with you and between all of his practices and his studying and Fortnite and um so he that's the goal is to get a scholarship for college and I told him like it's, it's I'm telling you it's pretty it'd be pretty easy for the social media to get something there so if you like if you'd like Jordan to get some social media comment comment in the video and uh, say what you would like him to get Instagram I mean he has Instagram he doesn't post that much and he's a boy he's like He's a 15 year old boy. He's not like, hey, you know, like girls do. That's, that's what they do. It's what they do. So YouTube would be better for him anyway. I will be going back to Utah to watch one of Jordan's football games. I have asked him. I've, I've left it up to him if he wants me to film or not. It's totally his deal. I can put it on YouTube or not. It's his call. Um, but if you have any questions, comment below. I will try my best to get him to do a Q&A video himself so that it's not his aunt answering your questions. We'll see what we can do. I did try to get him to do a Q&A video. I was, I was this close, so close to do it, to get him to do it. But he already gets, he already gets aroused on by, by the guys. Um, because he has done some modeling for Cabela's, he was in their catalogs, and then also on some of their products. And then he was also extra in some Disney show that they film in Salt Lake. Hallie's also done some, his sister has also done some, some modeling stuff. I think she was also in an extra in that Disney show and then she's done a commercial. She's actually the one who started it all. She was discovered at a a women's expo by a talent agency that had a booth there. They saw her and they wanted to sign her up so yeah they've done some modeling and uh, one uh, there was a question on Jordan's collarbone video that asked it was from somebody else I guess who had a bro broken collarbone and they said, well, won't, won't it just grow back together? And yes, there will be bone that does grow. 
to connect back together, but um, because he do, has done and probably will do some modeling in the future, um, the decision was made just to make sure it it healed evenly, and so that's why he he did have it surgically put back together. So while I'm in here, my comments, I just want to do. That's enough about Jordan, okay? It is my channel, but yes, comment below any questions for a Q and a potential, no promises, a potential Q and A about Jordan and what kind of social media you might want to see if he would ever do social media. I want to do a shout out to uh, Frederick who posted to my Instagram earlier this week about my getting the shaft uh, at my job and I noticed, I realized why I didn't see this, why this didn't come through regularly and it was actually because it was a channel comment and I didn't realize that because I read every single comment that you guys post. I read every single one. So Frederick wrote, thanks Rachel, I found your channel one day when I was looking for an angel's landing video to show a friend to whom I was describing the all-around North America road trip I was going to take next summer. What happened then as I watched all your videos is I fell in love with you completely changing my plans, making Utah and the Colorado Plateau the focus of a much more limited Southwest road trip. I just came back from that trip and I just wanted you to know that I had an awesome time. Thank you so much. I'll be reading up on the geology and the history all year and going back next summer for sure. In the meantime, I'll be exploring my corner of North America in more detail in a compare and contrast mindset now that I have more perspective. Thank you for everything. You truly changed the course of my summer and hopefully that of summers to come. Hope life is good to you in the East and that you'll find your way back West one day. Take care. And that definitely deserves a huge shout out. I never thought that my piddly little horrible music uh, Angels Landing video would make such an impact on somebody that they would change their plans of their trip and it ended up working out very well and I really appreciate hearing about that and it's interesting you just never know what kind of a an impact you might have on people and sometimes people might think oh you know like who's really gonna care about what you are what you're doing with your life, you know, that you're gonna post it on YouTube, but I mean sometimes stuff like this happens and it's it's really it's really touching. I look forward to hearing more about your upcoming trips in the future and thank you for the very very nice comment. That about wraps up my update video on um, my Great Smoky Mountains video has been in the works. There's a lot of footage because it was a I was there for about a week, just just under a week, and I did a lot of hiking. So there's been a lot of footage to go through, but that will be next. Then it will just go in chronological orders as far as my other videos go. But I did do a backpacking trip this summer and also a little camping trip to Shenandoah National Park with Melanie. So stay tuned for those and if you'd like you can follow me on my other social media Instagram so you can go to my channel page for the information on those. I love to know who all the new people are. Are you here for Jordan, my nephew? Uh, if so, you can just comment Jordan. Otherwise, you can comment Rachel. Either way, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And stay tuned. There's gonna be there's gonna be some videos coming out. 
it's going to be sporadic, so stay tuned, and I will see you next time. Bye.